Well, you don't want a chest rig, and you don't want a plate carrier either. Maybe this bad boy might be the solution for you. Howdy folks, it's Boaz with Airsoft GI again, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Lalax cross chest bandolier. Let's get into it. Now, if you guys haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, as we always say, guys, uh, making airsoft content on YouTube is an uphill battle. The algorithm does not take kindly to anything airsoft or firearms related, so we need all the support we can get so we can keep rolling out that free Gucci content for you guys. And if you guys would like to support the channel directly and also help keep the lights on and the camera running, uh, make sure to stop by at Airsoft GR for all your airsoft needs. For those of you who aren't too familiar with Lalax as a brand, they are a Japanese company that makes very high quality airsoft accessories and parts that will greatly benefit you when it comes to improving your airsoft game. And this cross chest bandolier is no exception. And for those of you guys who are not familiar with the bandolier system, uh, keep in mind guys that this is not a new design. So. Uh, there have been a lot of these bandolier ammo or load bearing systems that have been used in combat or tactically for a very long time, even, even dating as far back as World War I. So Lalax has decided just to bring the bandolier system into the 21st century and create this very nice sleek looking bandolier. Now it's a very simple design, it just has the main cross section over here where you can mount any pouches you want and on the back panel They've also included a molly section where you could throw on a back, a back panel, some pouches, and also a velcro section to put on any ID or morale patches. Looking down here at the construction of the bandolier, you have this really nice rubberized, I want to say almost kind of familiar to like a cry style air light kind of rubberized synthetic fabric, I guess. Uh, it is very stretchy, it is very breathable and extremely lightweight. Over here on the front, you just have a very plain, pretty decently padded uh, molly system or molly panel where you could, again, weave in any pouches that you desire. Mostly, I'm assuming most of you guys airsofters out there, you guys are going to put mag pouches on there. And on the back, you also have a very well padded area, again, just with molly. So that way you can weave in any pouches, back panels, backpacks, whatnot. And of course, a little small section of Velcro there on the back. Now. Why choose a bandolier system over a traditional chest rig? Now, one of the biggest uh, drawbacks, I would say, of using a chest rig system is that everything is kind of mounted vertically. Even when it comes to running a lot of plate carriers, a lot of the pouches are kind of vertical. And so even for me personally, when I do run a plate carrier or in the very, very off chance when I do run a chest rig, I primarily, I do not reload off of my chest rig. In fact, I reload off of my hips or my belt setup because for me, it just is a lot more natural. So Lalax decided to bring this bandolier system into the airsoft market because it is a lot more, I guess you would say, kinesthetically natural, maybe a little easier on, uh, on your body mechanics. So when you are reaching for that mag, you already have that nice 45 degree angle to just quickly draw and grab a mag. And even with the rifle mag pouch right here, it's very easy. It's just a straight draw down and then into your gun. So some of the cool things that Lalex has introduced when it comes to redesigning a bandolier system is actually they've included these little side buckle straps. I don't know if you guys can see here on the main camera, but there are these two nice little low profile side clips that kind of help the bandolier stay in place and it limits that side to side movement when you're running. Uh, you will have to play around with the, a bit of adjustment when it comes to the actual tightness or the height of your bandolier. Personally, for me, I like to ride a little bit higher. However, you know, I do have to do a lot, a little bit more adjusting in order to get it there. Originally, I was wearing it on top of like a sweater or a jacket and it just kept it nice and perfect. It is kind of hot here in the studio with all these lights running, so I decided to take it off. But uh, there are nice adjustment tabs because you have these little tri-glides to cinch down basically exactly to the height that you, where you need. So that way you can pretty much seamlessly run your gun and reload without really having to look at your chest rig or your bandolier. How is the Lalax cross chest bandolier when it comes to shouldering a rifle? Well, uh, if you're right hand dominant like me, you're gonna want to have the shoulder strap of the bandolier on your left shoulder. So that leaves the right hand side completely unimpeded. So you can just pretty much have a very natural shouldering of the rifle. However, if you're gonna to transition to your offhand, whether you're right hand or left hand, side dominant, 
you are going to have a little bit of impediment here uh, just because of the shoulder buckle. Now again, this will vary depending on how you like to run the bandolier. If you're like someone like me that likes to have the bandolier kind of high up, uh, you will have a little bit more issues just because you're going to run into the buckle. But if you like to run it kind of like down low over here off to the side, you're not really going to have much of an issue. So it's pretty dependent on how you like to run the bandolier at the end of the day. Again, if you're right hand dominant, you're going to want to strap it uh, to the left shoulder. And if you're left hand uh, dominant, then you're going to want to have it, of course, the other way around. Now, with that being said, uh, how is putting the this bandolier on and off? Well, because of these included uh, side straps, if you will, uh, it, it, it can be a little confusing when you take it on and off. Uh, there have been some times when I first started using this thing uh, for testing, uh, I did have to kind of endure kind of a learning curve when it comes to putting it on, putting it off. But one thing I learned uh, just to make things a little easier is uh, I just take my right hand, dominant hand, and I just uh, unclip the buckles when I'm taking it off of my dominant hand. So it's just gonna be right hand for me. And the bandolier just completely just comes off like that. But when you put it back on, because you didn't unbuckle your left side or your weak side, so to say, you just sling that over your shoulder, the shoulder or the side strap follows right there in place. I buckle in the side strap of my right side. And then I do that same for the, the cross section right here in the bottom. I'm not very flexible, so it does look a little harder than it actually is. I'm sure most of you guys won't have a problem. I mean, I'm just very inflexible. Another really common question about this bandolier is what kind of mag pouches would you recommend running? Well, uh, ideally, in the best case scenario, because this is a Lalax product, uh, most likely they have designed it specifically for Lalax magazine pouches. So over here, I have these new, uh, I think they're called the Bite magazine pouches from Lalax. Uh, they do have this nice locking mechanism where you have to kind of lift the magazine a little bit before pulling it out because it has that nice little clamp lock feature right here at the bottom of each of these mag pouches. And it creates an extremely secure fit. But if you're not gonna be running a Lalex specific mag pouch, uh, there are a lot of other good options out there. Uh, one thing that comes to mind would be something like uh, the HSGI Tacos. Uh, if you guys are trying to keep it as low profile as possible, maybe something like Blue Force Gear, or if you guys are gonna go on the really Gucci side, maybe something like either G-Code uh, or STAC. Now I know for some of you guys, it might be a little tempting to go very budget friendly on this uh, rig and purchase those uh, magazine pouches that have like the Velcro flaps in front just because of how affordable they are. I mean, you can do it, uh, but I would strongly recommend that you guys space your magazine pouches outwards towards your dominant hand. That way they'll be facing up, not down like the way I'm doing right now. And so that way when you reach out for a new mag, you're not gonna end up accidentally dropping it or losing it. Now, again, I would strongly recommend that you don't do that just because uh, if you guys are gonna be reloading this way, it's kind of defeating the whole purpose of the bandolier. It's supposed to make it a lot easier, a lot faster for you guys to reach for a new mag to reload quickly and to you know stay very low profile. The Lalax Cross Chest Lightweight Molly Bandolier retails for $68 at airsoftgi.com. Make sure to take advantage of the Wamba combo for the best savings in airsoft. Now for $68, I think the price is a bit steep for a small little bandolier rig like this. Uh, now, Lalax, next time in the future, maybe if you could include a little bit of additional padding on the front and rear section of this bandolier to make it a little bit more comfortable for long-term use, in addition to maybe having something cool like laser cut molly, especially on these molly sections. Now, uh, right now, these are just traditionally sewn in molly webs, uh, and I think if you're gonna make something that looks kind of futuristic, a little bit more modern, I would definitely go with something like a laser cut system instead. Uh, and when it comes to the retention of the bandolier, uh, I think maybe just because of the design of a bandolier itself, it is a bit wobbly. Uh, I would, Lalex, I would definitely look into something where you could release this maybe a little quicker or maybe make it a bit more secure so it doesn't move around at all. Now for me personally, would I want to run a chest bandolier like this? And I would say the answer is yes. Uh, this is not something that I would look into immediately to go pick up and start playing with, but definitely this does inspire a lot of cool like Tom Clancy Division vibes for me. 
and this is definitely something that I've always wanted to do. And I think this chest bandolier does kind of check the box for cool factor, and especially with functionality, especially if you guys are playing quick games that you don't need that much stuff. Um, I mean, this just does it all for you. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching the overview of the Lalex Cross Chest Bandolier. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Is it a good idea, a bad idea? Uh, is this something that you would like to see other manufacturers make? Uh, is this something that you would possibly want to run on the field in the future? Let us all know in the comments below. Now guys, I know we've been kind of lacking on tactical gear content lately. It's just simply just because not a lot of companies in the past year or so have come out with anything super new or super cool. Uh, but I will say though, uh, we are working on some pretty neat tactical gearhead videos and we'll be doing uh, a personal updated 2021 tactical gearheads of our personal loadouts for each of us here at Airsoft GI. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to leave a like in the video as it helps fight the YouTube algorithm when it comes to promoting content, especially uh, with the climate of the internet right now, it's not very friendly to airsoft or anything gun related. So uh, if you guys want to support the channel directly, make sure to always shop at Airsoft GI for all your airsoft needs. This is Boaz and I'll see you next time.